Namaste friends, my name is Sandeep. Today we are going to learn bow pose or dhanurasana. Dhanurasana is a seated chest opening asana. Friends, if you see anatomically, the whole of the front of the body gets nicely stretched when you perform this asana. Right from the ankle to the knee to the thighs, also the groin and the pelvis the belly, the chest, the shoulder and the neck. This all stretches nicely. Also, it has a nice impact on the spine. Friends, if you see the benefits of this asana, this asana is very good for people suffering from asthma. People who have anxiety, it is also very good for them. Those who have menstrual disorders, this asana can play a very important role to manage and regulate the menstrual problems. If you see, you are balancing on the abdomen and that is the reason why this asana is also very good for people suffering from digestion. Friends, when you perform this asana, this asana can help to remove or release the fatigue and bring energy back. This asana strengthens the spine and also strengthens the front of the body. If you see, the hip, deep hip flexors or the psoas muscles are stretched beautifully. Also when you do this, the shoulders and the upper back muscles are stretched nicely. People will find that their breathing pattern improves when we practice this asana. Also friends, it improves our posture because the spine is stretched nicely. The posture becomes better when you practice this. When you are lying on the abdomen, all the organs which are there inside the abdomen gets beautifully massaged and that is the reason why it has a very good impact on all the organs which are there inside the abdomen it improves their functioning also friends people who have high or low blood pressure or those who suffer from insomnia those who have serious back and neck injury they should avoid doing dhanurasana Let's see how to perform this asana. This asana is done in a prone position, lying on the abdomen. So let's lie on the abdomen. The starting position for all the prone asana is feet together, chin on the ground, or you can, if you are comfortable, forehead on the ground, hands by the side of the body, and shoulders relaxed. Now we enter into the asana. So what we do is, we bring the chin forward on the ground. Then we remain here for a while. Then we will bend both the leg at the knees. Lot of time people when they do this, they will find that the pelvis is going off the floor. So to make things easier, we can keep a blanket below the abdomen towards the pelvic region also so that the contact of the pelvis in the abdomen is nice and on the ground we are not straining the lower back because of this so you, if you want you can keep a blanket below the abdomen pelvic region after bending the legs you can catch the ankle after catching the ankle what you will do is you will stretch the toes towards yourself so that you are maintaining the feet active. When you keep your feet active friends, it will engage the thighs, it will engage the quads, it will also engage the pelvis and the buttock region so that the impact on the lower back is less. After holding the ankle, after keeping or activating the feet, keeping the legs active, then we are going to lift up, lifting up from the chin, then from the chest and the knees together. Just watch this. After holding, stretch the toes in, now lift. We are lifting from the chin and the chest together. Friends, when we do this, a lot of time we will find that it's difficult to come up from the lower back or from the legs region up. Also when we do this, we have to roll the shoulders, we have to externally open, rotate the shoulders outward so that the chest has space to open up. 
one more thing that we can do is to increase or to increase the height of the knee by lifting the legs much more higher is you should feel that that as if you are pushing the ankle away from you and up so we should feel that the hands are being pushed away and up don't bend the hand at the elbow a lot of time people when they do like this bending the elbow it's difficult to raise so what we need to do is we need to open the shoulder open the chest now after keeping the feet active we will let the ankle go away from the body see can you see it becomes easier for the chest to lift and then we will use the hands to lift the ankle up to the ceiling just watch as you push the ankle up it actually allows the lower extremity to rise higher this makes it easier lot of time it looks little awkward when only chest is lifting when you can lift your legs also it will have a nice impact on the lower back in fact sometimes the impact on the lower back is very intense and it is also very good for the belly you will find as if you are balancing on your belly and little below the belly in that position let's do this once again what you need to keep in mind is you need to breathe so that the asan becomes easier to sustain one more try lengthening the body shoulders relaxed chin on the ground bending the leg at the knee holding the ankle stretching the toes in and then rolling the shoulders lifting the chest pushing the ankle away and lifting the knees higher keep breathing hold the position keep breathing if possible try to lift higher than this after holding few breaths to release bring the thighs down bring the chin down release your hands release your legs turn your face on one side and relax your breath friends when you do this this asan has a beautiful impact especially on the abdomen and it stretches the spine nicely friends this dhanurasan can be very helpful for the advanced backward bend asanas dear friends if you like my video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you can get updates of new videos also if you have any feedback any suggestions write to us those are very valuable for us if you want us to cover any particular subject related to yoga also write to us we will try to cover that in the near future thank you for watching see you soon namaste